Richard, thank you very much for being here after this very important week, especially as it pertains uh, to your area of expertise. I want to just play a soundbite from uh, Powell today where he talks about just this idea of inflation being transient or potentially not. Take a listen. There are inflation pressures as well. Uh, those are a little bit more difficult to, to dissect right now. We, it's, it's really tough to tell how much of that is transitory, how much is going to be permanent. Okay, so Richard, what is the risk, what is the potential uh, that inflation does not turn out to be in, uh, transitory? What does that mean from a policy standpoint, given that you can't just kind of snap your fingers and have things change when it comes to monetary policy, right? These things take time to work their way through uh, the economy, right. through the financial system. Well, actually, Jay Powell acknowledged that in his speech. He mentioned specifically that central bankers have long been concerned about trying to differentiate between transitory inflationary pressures and those that take grip and become more permanent in the economy. He acknowledged that directly. I thought it was a smart thing to do. He added that if that's the case, that is, that they see that it's not a transitory influence, given that it takes, as he put it in the speech, 12 months or a year for policy actions by the Federal Reserve to work its way into the real economy, that they would take the appropriate actions. So I thought that was the appropriate thing for him to say. Uh, meanwhile, he went in, most of the speech dealt with the issue of inflation. And I think they still have this conviction. I hope that they're right. Uh, but he did acknowledge the fact that if they're wrong, then they would have to step on the brakes. And I thought that was the appropriate thing to do. Steve, markets reacted pretty positively to what they heard today, uh, especially the equity markets in particular. Uh, is that a good thing? Uh, you know, there was a, an article by Larry Summers in The Washington Post yesterday where he said that this quantitative easing is running basically at levels that, uh, you know, haven't really been fully analyzed as appropriate given the current conditions. He says there is a felt need to maintain credibility given previous commitments and a reluctance to accept the immediate pain and dislocation associated with changing course. In other words, the markets react to this kind of thing. So it's really difficult to pivot uh, and, you know, at risk of, of upsetting the capital markets as they are. Uh, but is that tough decision making necessary sometimes? Yeah, I mean, there is a school of thought uh, that the Fed's job is to take away the punch bowl. And um, what Powell said today, I think, or one way to put it is, the punch bowl is going to be around for a bit longer. We're just going to reduce the level of punch in the bowl and, and maybe serve you up somewhat smaller glasses out there. Um, look, you got to go back and understand a little bit of the history here. I think Richard Fisher lived through this uh, as a policymaker, which was the taper tantrum. Back in 2013, yep. Ben Bernanke, the Fed chairman, said... Uh, we're going to think about tapering. And the market's freaked out. So everything that Powell's been doing has been to allow himself to reduce the amount of stimulus to the economy without freaking out the markets. The trouble is, and, and, and this is Summer's point, are they just delaying the pain that will come from ripping the Band-Aid off? Or can they get away by taking the Band-Aid off without creating the pain? Let's ask Richard, what do you make of the taper tap dance that's been going on? So uh, Steve makes a very good reference, and uh, the taper tantrum sent the markets into a tizzy. The chairman of my board at the Dallas Fed then was Herb Kelleher, the founder of Southwest Airlines, a very colorful character, and he's, he used to remind people he drank more wild turkey bourbon than any human being on the planet. And i never forget his comment as after Bernanke made those comments, because he was my chairman in 2013. You can't go from wild turkey to cold turkey overnight without creating enormous <laughs> damage to their system. So Powell's very aware of this. He, he joined us in you know, 2012. He went through the 2013 experience. And I, I actually feel he's handled this just right. The market is ready. The market knows that they will begin to taper. The question is when, not if. And setting that up, I think, was bearing in mind Herb Kelleher's wisdom. 